Hey, hey family, it's your girl Evelyn here and I am back with another video and y'all, I have been collecting these empties for quite some time and so I've got them all spread across my desk here and I was like, you know what, let me, today is trash day, <laughs> let me go ahead and film this empties video so I can just share these with you and put them in the trash. So I kind of divide divided them up by category. I've got a couple of hair care products. I've got like face and makeup and then I've got like body care. So let me just kind of go in order with the two hair care products. The first one is this Styling Mousse by Alakay Naturals. Let me tell you what's so interesting about this. In all my years as a natural, I never thought about using mousse. And then one day I came across Black Girl Curls on Instagram and it's totally revolutionized the way I style my hair. Like wash day is now like a wash hour. I don't use nearly as many products as I used to. And I really enjoy the Alakay Naturals uh, Lemongrass Styling Mousse. I've actually got some other mousse mousse products that I purchased at the same time that I don't like as much as I like this one. So when I run out of those, be just because I have so many, I'm going to repurchase this one. And I got my little bin over here. So if you hear a little thud, that's what's happening. Also, um, for a while, I've had the Love Naturals Aloe. Oh, can you see that? The Love Naturals Aloe Citrus Kisses Hair Acidifier. I love this. Whenever my hair was starting to look or feel frizzy this hair acidifier just laid the cuticle back flat and i really enjoyed this so this is definitely something i will be repurchasing but that's all i've got oh you know what i had the hair gel the um the love naturals um aloe hair styling gel which i also really enjoy i think i may have thrown it away or misplaced it but that's also an empty and when I'm done with the gel that I have right now which I don't use gel a lot but when I do use gel I probably will go back to this one okay so that's it for hair care now let's get into body care so here's the thing y'all know I'm still on this like curate your beauty journey and one of the things I really want to upgrade is my body lotion. I really want something a little bit more luxurious, but also maybe a little bit more natural. But y'all, I got sucked into the vortex of the hype around the EOS body lotions. Okay, so I have two empties here. I have the, um, this is the EOS Shea, Shea, Shea Better, right? 24 hour moisture body lotion and this is in the scent coconut waters i really really enjoyed this y'all y'all can tell th these have been in containers with other empties so i really really enjoyed this scent i like this one and the raspberry one but i also i'm not normally a vanilla girl but there was so much hype around the vanilla cashmere that i bought it i used it but i probably wouldn't you know get this scent again if you love vanilla you will love this okay now here's the thing i thoroughly enjoyed the way these lotions felt on my body the way they made my skin feel and all of that but i would prefer something more natural okay not that all of my beauty products because obviously my cosmetics are not all natural but i have certain categories where it's just my personal preference to have something more natural and so body lotion is one of those things the other thing i finished off was this pacifica tuscan blood orange body lotion um or body butter this smells so freaking good but again i don't know if Pacifica is clean, but I will say this while this smells good and it and moisturizes pretty well, the EOS moisturizes better. Like, I like it, just moisturizes better. So, I like this, but I probably won't be repurchasing this again either. Like I said, and I really want something a little bit more luxurious. Okay, so then also when it comes to <laughs> body butters and emollients for the skin, um. I emptied out both of these Origins body butters or body creams, the Ginger Souffle and the Intense Hydrating A Perfect World. When I tell you that I absolutely do not like the smell of this, this, I did not like the smell. I think this is, is this the white tea scent? Yeah. Intensely Hydrating Body Cream with White Tea. I only used it because I had it. I did not like the scent of this. This, however? 
if you love ginger, that kind of like spicy ginger scent, this was the one. This is probably my third one of these. This These came in a set of three. And I can't remember what the third one was, but I had already finished that one before I started saving for my empties video. So the, that's that. And now let's get into like body washes, shower gels. So in one of my recent videos, because it's been a while since I've posted some videos, but when I did my big Sephora haul at the beginning of the year, I was telling you that I much prefer shower oils over shower gels. And so I've used up two of my L'Occitane shower oils. I it, it, They just smell so good. And because my body can't, skin is very, very dry, these work amazing on my body. So I've emptied two of those. So this is how you know. Listen, when I say this is an empties video, I've been holding on to these things for some time, okay? But in addition to that, I also emptied out the two Capari shower oils. Now, I want to say this about, about these, okay? I enjoy these um, shower oils, but they do not feel like oils to me. The L'Occitane definitely feels like a shower oil. This definitely feels like a much more moisturizing shower gel. I still like it. And I prefer this on the days when like I'm coming home from dance class and I'm like dripping with sweat. I prefer this because it just feels a little bit more soapy than oil, oily. And not that the lots of time feels oily, but you know what I'm saying? Like this just makes me feel a little bit more like squeaky, squeaky clean. Well, that makes me feel moisturizingly clean. I hope that makes sense. But I've emptied the two that I had, so I don't have any more of these. I still am using another L'Occitane shower oil right now. So I probably will re-up on um, this and the L'Occitane shower oil. Okay. Um, I also finished off the Honey Pot um, Jasmine Panty Spray. Let me tell you what's so interesting about this because I don't use it. I didn't use it as a panty spray. I actually used it in combination with my deodorant. <laughs> um, and I loved it. Now, there was a lot of controversy around the Honey Pot and them changing the formulas and things like that. So I have not repurchased because I have another one. I think I have two more of these that I had already had stocked up before they changed the formula, right? So um, yeah, it says gently mist for panties, underarm, underarms, feet, and shoes, air dry and go. And so I used it under my underarms and I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope that the new formula isn't like crazy different. You know what I'm saying? But I enjoyed it. Okay, so that is it for body care. Let's get into... Oh, nope. I take that back. I had a necessary, like a deluxe sample um, shower gel. I actually really, really like this. Even though this is like your traditional shower gel, this was in the eucalyptus scent. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. So I also really like this like after, particularly in like Texas summer heat, like when it was 110 degrees outside this past summer. This was bomb. Okay. So now let's get into skincare. So the first thing I emptied was the pharmacy. This was their cleansing balm in the sweet apple scent. This was a limited edition scent. Um, I actually really enjoyed this scent. I probably, I wish I would have used it during the winter time because it definitely gives me, uh, you know, caramel apple cider vibes. Right now, I'm using the limited edition wild cherry scent. Um, I do like the green one. I just like their scented ones better, but I love this one. I tell you just a little bit goes a long way and it just melts all of the makeup right off of my face. So love, love, love that. I also used up a full glow recipe moisturizer. So some people some people love this or they hate it. For me, I really enjoy this because in the summertime, I have super oily skin, you know, a nice little toner, throw this on, put my primer makeup on and it's moisturizing my skin without being too heavy. And so because of that, I really, really enjoy this. So I've used up one of these. I bought this in the Sephora sale back in, what was that, March, April? And I have another one that I'm currently using. 
And it's not the only, the reason why I haven't moved through that faster is because I have multiple different moisturizers for different purposes, right? You know, am I going to be wearing makeup that day and filming? Is this my nighttime moisturizer? What is my skin doing? What is the weather doing? Things like that. So I have multiple moisturizers. So um, let's see here. I also finished off this Laneige skin toner. Okay, that I had, I got in like a kit. And I will say this, I, this was okay. I didn't love it. I, I probably would not purchase a full size of this. It was just fine, but I, I have a toner that I really, really enjoy. And um, so it was okay, but I wouldn't reuse it, but I, I wanted to use it up. Now, I have some samples from Laneige that I enjoyed. This cream skin toner and moisturizer when I tell you, I probably will buy a full of this because it's super, super light. I probably would put it in the same category as um, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Juice Moisturizer because I could swipe this on my skin and go. And particularly when I was going to like dance class or if I was if I was doing a, a day where I'm not wearing any makeup and it was going to be 115 degrees outside and I didn't want to put like a lotion or a cream or something on my oily skin. I really, really enjoyed this. I got this as a sample. It's the two and form one formula, and it really was moisturizing. So I really, really enjoyed this, and I definitely would try it uh, full size. Now, y'all, this is where it gets interesting. So I had this sample of Chanel. Um, this is the Chanel uh, Hydra Beauty Micro Cream, and I let me tell you, surprisingly. I really, really like this. Now, let me tell you what's funny about this is I'm assuming this was for the face because I used it on the face. And then I was like, was this a hand lotion? But it has a little face on the back. The thing is, it definitely is strongly fragranced. Like if you do not like a perfumey smell in your moisturizer, you're probably not going to like this. But I really, really enjoyed this. And I was kind of surprised that I did. And I was like, Oh, Chanel, I might, I might, I might rock with you. Okay. Speaking of more samples, I finished off and I'm, I'm uh, currently in the process of finishing off another set of these, um, a La Mer sample set. So this is the La Mer creme de La Mer moisturizing cream sample. Also the La Mer, the concentrate sample, and then also the La Mer regenerating serum. Y'all, I hate to say this, okay? I hate to say it. When it comes to La Mer, I love it. Oh. And I, I, you know, I didn't want to, you know, get sucked into the hype. This is probably the third sample set like this that I've gone through. And I love it. Like every time I get enough points of Sephora, I'm getting another one. I'm like, Evelyn, you just need to go ahead and buy the full set. And like the eye cream lasts me longer, but this, these last me a good amount of time. And I was having a conversation with my friend and I was like, and she was saying one of the things about at least this particular moisture cream is very, very rich. Right. And even though I have oily skin, I enjoyed using this at night, almost as like a nighttime treatment. But I did not use it every single night. I kind of would alternate because sometimes I felt like my skin needed a break. Like nothing was wrong, but I was like, it was just so rich um, that, you know, I didn't need to use it every night. I would, I would bounce between something else. But I, when I tell you, I love, I enjoy these products. If I would get like a pimple or something or something, I saw something coming or like a blemish, I would go, I would be like, oh, I'm about to use my La Mer that night. And it would just completely eradicated it would disappear or it wouldn't even come to fruition listen listen okay it's a fence around your face and so i have another small set like this that i'm currently in the process of using but this is probably my third or fourth time getting these little mini sets so that's it for the skincare so now let's get into the makeup i don't have a lot of makeup that are empties but um i have a few things here so first and foremost is this eyeliner from milani which is the stay put eyeliner in black matte um i let me tell you it it does stay put okay um like you could cry and it's not gonna smudge however i'm it's so black and so matte and I didn't always love that look it almost kind of looked like dry black chalk across my eye so not in love with it as far as the finish but I also don't like shiny eyeliner and I find myself more so into 
this look, which is this exact same eyeliner, but in brown. And I just think it's a little bit softer, you know, um, and not as harsh. And even though I have rich skin and sometimes I do want a jet black um, matte eyeliner, I find myself gravitating towards a deep brown more often. So finish this up. It's completely, completely empty. I finished off two mascaras. I finished off a better than sex mascara. I really enjoy this, but I'm I'm actually finding some mascaras that I enjoy more. So I finished that off, and this is a Maybelline Colossal. I had some unopened mascaras in my collection that I typically use on my bottom lashes. I kind of use the more um, higher end, like is going to give me a, a thicker lash. Like what I have on right now is um, It Cosmetic Superhero. But finish these tubes off. I'm done with that. I also finished off, um, this is my Pat McGrath Concealer in D33. It's already been repurchased. It's in the drawer. I don't have that on today. I have on my Dior Concealer today. But I really enjoy this. This one is closer to my skin tone, though. So depending on the look I'm going for, I also have D31 from Pat McGrath. But... It's very full coverage. A little bit goes a very, very, very long way. So whatever video that I did, however long ago, where I first hauled this, this is that one. Okay, this is this is that one. So I finished that off and repurchased it. And then last but not least, I finished off the Urban Decay D Slick um, Matte Oil Control um setting spray let me tell you what's interesting is i'm normally not a setting spray kind of person but the d slick version when i tell you in 110 degree weather i lock will lock my makeup in i would sweat in 110 degrees i would pat my makeup dry and it would look like i never lost any makeup it when i tell you it locked it in so i know we're heading into fall winter now so i have just the regular version of this but i probably because it is hot most of the year here in dallas will go back to this and buy a full size i've never bought a full size of setting spray even at times i typically don't like to wear makeup to dance class but even if i had it on and i didn't want it to like drip all over me i would spray this on my face before i left if i didn't have time to wash my makeup off and when I would be done with an hour and a half dance class, my makeup would still be in place. So I will have all these linked down below if you're interested. But yeah, I just thought, you know, I think it's nice. I think empties is a nice way to show like what you've actually been using. Um, I do have a couple of products that I've hit pan on, but they're not necessarily empties. And so uh, I probably will start including those, you know, like this is not empty, but I hit pan on it. I would tell you the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder, I have hit pan on. I've also hit pan on the LYS uh, No Limits Matte Bronzer. And I think that's it. But yeah, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, everything that I have on my face is also going to be listed below. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.